We should definitely read it first. Take a sign. We have signs. Not to worry. He's also very pre I love his pink t shirt. And this suit is just the good. You can step uh, away from that door. Real boys wear pink. Yeah. That would be lovely. That would be the proper. Well, it's not we're trying to get here, so. Yes, you should. Oh, I don't want to get in your guys' way. Constituents are here. Why don't we start with a little, um, all we are saying is give some chat. I don't want to get in your guys' way. Yeah, I don't want to get in your guys' way. Yeah, I don't want to get in your guys' does, does he know we're here? We want to just do it Martha. as we're getting ready. Um, Martha. All we are saying <laughs> is give peace a chance. All we are saying is give peace a chance. All we are saying. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Oh, la, la. I got the small one. Oh, this is especially made for you, Reese. <laughs> I made it on the weekend. Who else wants to be the good Bernie? Oh, oh actually, yeah. Yeah. Right. Say, is give peace a chance. Oh, All we are saying is give peace a chance. So um, we just got this letter. Uh, can letter. I read a, yes, first, a paragraph? Okay, I'm just going to go right to the heart of his letter. Uh, Explain what the letter is. The letter is from Bernie in response to us, basically. Dear Vermont, Peace Anti-War Coalition, actually. Okay, and th there's a lot, you know, about climate and so forth. But basically he says, uh, I feel there is no justification for Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine, which is an indefensible violation of international law. So forth. The Ukrainians have a right to resist this assault, both in moral terms and under international law, including the UN Charter. And let's be clear, Putin could end this war today by, by calling off his attack, but he has refused to do so. Uh, we could end this war today. The United States is funding this war. 
Okay, then he goes on to say, this is why I feel we must stand in solidarity with Ukraine and work with our allies and the international community to hold Putin and his oligarchs accountable. As you know, the Biden administration responded to the invasion with serious economic sanctions coordinated with U.S. allies and much of the international community. I support this approach, but also feel we must be clear that these sanctions should be part of a broader strategy and should weigh the impact on ordinary Russian uh, working people who have little say in Putin's policies. To my mind, part of that strategy is direct aid to Ukraine. Weapons is not aiding Ukraine. Weapons are slaughtering Ukraine. This is a setup. This that, includes, that's not what he said. That's not what he said. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said. And for the record, I was a Bernie delegate in 2020 to his presidential nominating convention, worked 24-7 to uh, elect Bernie Sanders and organized with an anti-war base that is now betrayed by his silence and his complicity in voting for more and more weapons to set Ukrainians up for slaughter rather than insisting on diplomacy and negotiations now. We don't want Bernie Sanders, who ran on an anti-war campaign, to take us to World War III along with the others at this Capitol. We expect more from Bernie Sanders. You forgot to add delusion and lies. If he, if he doesn't know the tr truth and he's speaking those lies in that letter, that's a problem. He's misrepresenting the facts. He says, I am gravely concerned about the millions of refugees fleeing Ukraine, and more will leave if they can. Draft age men are forbidden. Hi, everyone. Hi, Max. Hi. This is Maxwell Hoffman. He yes. is his foreign policy advisor. Thank you, Max, for coming out to talk to us. Of course. Yes. Do you mind if we take this in the hallway and have a conversation? We love sure. you. Sure. Yeah, yeah, we can do uh, Well, unless you're going to call Are the there still people in the hall who can't hear? No, no, of course. We'd, Look, rather, I, I, we'd yeah. rather be here. All right, let us can come yeah, in then. Yeah. We can come forward more here. Yeah. Look, so I, everybody can if we in. can do it in the hall, I'm more than happy to have a conversation with you. You know, we've we've met a few times. <laughs> Hi, a conversation. Well, like the to thing is, is that you know the office still needs to conduct the rest of its business. Does that, does that, that mean? Does that mean? Does that mean you're refusing to talk unless we leave the office? Can, let's just talk right here. Yeah, good. I'm this the is, this is the most critical business right now. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're also trying to deal with calls from Vermonters and constituents about a lot of key issues. That's why I was asking if we could do it in the hall. Just well, there are a lot of Vermonters in front of Bernie's office right now. I know. Okay. I know. There are also, you know, there are also a lot needing help Brett on other Poppet issues. and people that, you know, are going to get the anyway, attention. Anyway, thanks. Thank you for, for coming in. Um, why don't you tell us a bit about what brought you here today? All right, well, I'm, <laughs> as you know, we're talking. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, and we, we were supposed to meet yesterday yeah. yes. to reschedule. Well, you know, we had to get, go to the Civil War uh, press conference out there and challenge my own congressman who wants to keep funding this war. Max, you know, we have great respect for Bernie Sanders, or we did, uh, because he was our voice in Congress. He is no longer that voice. Instead, he is going along with this rush to World War III. Uh, we represent the Peace in Ukraine Coalition. That's over 100 organizations that say we want a mutual ceasefire. We want negotiations without preconditions. None of this, we won't sit down until Russia leaves every inch of Ukraine and Crimea. No, we want it now. I have two grandchildren. I don't want this for their future. We are here repeating history right before World War I. And we need Bernie to summon all of his courage that he takes everywhere around the country, <coughs> speaking up for workers to say, this is thievery. This war in Ukraine, $110 billion, Biden wants another $24 billion. This is thievery of working people. Mm -hmm. Where is this money going? Oligarchs in Ukraine. This money is going to launder here yeah. for the Weapons military contractors. Yeah. This is not an epic fight between democracy and autocracy. Russia is no model of democracy. Certainly they arrest anti-war pro protesters, jail them. What's happening in Ukraine? Opposition press, shut down. Opposition political parties, shut down. Catholic uh, church, raided. Uh, priests, arrested. Russians are not allowed to, uh, ethnic Russians are not allowed to speak their language yeah. in the public yeah. sector workforce. There was a civil war before the invasion. It did not start the war on 20, in 2022. Right. On February 24th. It started know. years before. With a U.S. coup. Yeah. 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 So Bernie knows it. You know, I think that thank you, Bernie. Bernie. Thank, you, thank you. That's right. Right on. Marcy speaks for me. <laughs> Marcy speaks for me. Yeah. All right. And we were all part of Bernie's campaign. Yeah. 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 I'm sure. yeah, I, I, I campaigned for him in Iowa. His campaign organized in my basement. 
<laughs> I'd like to know if you're getting this information and are you processing it within this office? I mean, other than the propaganda that we're getting from mainstream media, from the White House, are what, you? What do you consider, what outlets are you thinking of when you mention propaganda? <laughs> New York well, Times. actually, New York Times most of Washington Post, Post MSNBC. I mean, are you digging more deeply mind. to get to the truth? Because you know what the first casualty of war is. The yeah. truth. Yeah. Look. The same media that took us to war in Iraq, yeah. where yeah. six million people are dead. Yeah. And when we're talking about working class people, they are lined up on the borders and they are 200% casualties in Ukraine. We can't send weapons. Weapons kill people, they kill Ukrainians. And nobody here can say they care about the Ukrainian people and send cluster bombs to Ukraine cluster or send bombs. weapons to Ukraine. That is not care. Everybody here needs an education about who human beings are. They have names, they have families. The working class of Ukraine is lined up and murdered. And that is by the United States of America. It's like. The, there were people at a negotiating table. It is the United States of America that put sanctions on that has to be present at that negotiating table to end this war. Look, I think we just have, uh, I think those outlets you mentioned, you know, every outlet makes mistakes, but it's they're not about the outlet, reliable. it's about the truth. Just tell us. So in let assessing, them finish. In, in trying to understand the truth of what's happening, yeah. we rely on a lot of sources, mm -hmm. right? We rely on media outlets, NPR, New York Times, Reuters, the Associated Press, CNN, a lot of the, the outlets you mentioned in addition to others what about rely Aaron on Rockett? human rights reporters. Now. What about wait, Gray wait, Zone? Wait, wait, wait. Zone. Aaron wait, Rockett, wait, 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 the root here is that there are some disagreements about the reality of what's happening between what, you know, some of what you said. The senator's view, and I share it certainly, this was a war of aggression by Vladimir Putin against Ukraine. That yes. that is yes. that is. Think it was Many of us agree but with that. That, that is the reality. Aggression, it's Thank illegal. You. It's brutal. Yes. It should be condemned right. by everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Let's stop it. Yeah. Yes. yes. Well, you yeah. Yeah. No, if somebody holds yes a gun no. to your head, puts ABM missiles near your border, and uh, encourages your neighbor to join a nuclear alliance armed against you to destroy you. But wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think we can have different interpretations right. about how this war started, but I want to know wh how you think it's going to end. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, and, and let's get to that. I do think it's important to remember how it started, though, and it did sound as if Marcy was Me kind of blaming this on the Ukrainians. Let's not go there. That's something, let's not do the blame no. game. Okay. Like but go but it's important. I think in terms of understanding the moral, the morals here, it's that important. I end it. Okay, so look. Look, the, the fact of the matter is, Putin is still pursuing military goals by military means. He's launching attacks on Ukraine every day, including attacks on civilians, civilian infrastructure. This is a, the Ukrainians are on their own territory. They have a right to defend themselves under the UN Charter, under How's international law, and under basic morals. Um, so, so do the people of Gaza. Yeah. So do the people of the West Bank. Right. Who's perpetuating yeah. it? How's it going? Going? We haven't heard a word yet on how it's going to end. Where is it going? I think it's very hard to say. You know, this is not. <laughs> no, it, it's very hard to say when when Putin will be prepared to negotiate. When Zelensky will be prepared to negotiate. Yeah. 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 At the moment, at the moment, neither side is willing to negotiate. The U.S. can't force. A negotiated end of this war. Putin could look. Putin could end. Putin could end this war today. He could call off his attacks. So could the United States. U.S. block the negotiations. So we know he's not going to. What we need to know is if the Ukrainians are not. Will you agree with us if the Ukrainians are not winning on the battlefield? Yeah. Look, you know, I'm I'm not a military expert. The it, it seems as if the Ukrainians have made some gains in their recent counteroffensive. It's very slow going. It's very bloody. It's very no. It's horrible. The loss of life is horrible. It's incredible. And we have to remember though that this is Putin's war. He started it. He could end it. What today. about Bernie's war? Yeah. What? Bernie's conducting a war in Vermont using the F-35 jets, blasting thousands of families with the uh, F-35, and he supports it. He's responsible for that. And now you see, 
if Bernie is against assaulting civilians, why doesn't he oppose the F-35 in the city where 6,000 people, we're right in the noise zone, 115 decibels, dozen times a day. This has to stop too. And if Bernie is going to be consistent, he should call for ending the F-35 right in Vermont, near where I live. Mm -hmm. Does, does Senator Sanders Thank support or condemn the Ukrainians using American weapons in Russia proper? I don't. I haven't seen any evidence that the Ukrainians have used American weapons in Russia. Sure. Would Sanders support or condemn them doing so, though? Look, mm -hmm. it's it's a hypothetical situation. The mm -hmm. U.S. government, I know, you know, separate from Senator Sanders, the U.S. government, the administration is handling these weapons transfers. Well, Ukraine has attacked at least Russia on the, with the Crimean bridge, so, so that's why I asked about that specifically. And now they're getting even longer range missiles. So, they're yeah, what do you think about so, attacks in Crimea you know, or Russia very, proper? I know the U.S. government is putting very strict conditions on the use of the weapons provided. There's no evidence that I've seen that the Ukrainians have used it, have used any American weapons in attacking Russia or Russian territory. Absolutely. And who do you think is responsible for the Nord Stream 2 bombing? I, I don't know. You, do, you, do you have any idea? I mean, this is a major escalation and people are concerned about it. Do you think America had any involvement? Does Senator Sanders think America had any involvement in the Nord Stream 2 bombing? Look, I don't think we know who's responsible for the Nord Stream bombing. Oh Do you believe the U.S. government? <laughs> we the military. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. I'm the Chief of Staff for Senator Sanders. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you all. My name's Misty. Thank you for Thank coming you, to the Misty. office. Obviously, respect your right to express your concerns about what's happening in the war. We share, all of us, the staff, the Sen Senator Sanders shares your concern about the people who are being murdered and, and dying. He's because in a of the position war. to do something about it. And he has if responded he to your request with a letter that yeah. I think you guys should have received expressing yeah. where he's at in this position. Oh. Um, he's not going to be able to meet with you today. He is uh, able to, but he just won't. <laughs> he's not able to meet with you today because he has a schedule, so right. he won't be meeting with you. Um, Maybe this is more important. So we, yeah. well, he's meeting, you know, on behalf of Vermonters as well on other I'm issues. I, I understand that, yeah. and there's other issues that Vermonters are going through right now as well. But this is and the so life and death issue. I understand that, and so are other things that he's people are calling us every day about. Which brings this. me to my point, which is our lovely staff assistants who are back here are trying to answer phones from constituents in Vermont who need flood assistance, who need help with SSI, who need many life-saving, right. to your point. and they could get more money available if we yeah. stop sending it and, and Senator Sanders <laughs> fights yeah. for those things and every you single day, as you know. So, 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 I would just ask for you to please not be disruptive so that our staff assistants can continue to do their work. We are happy in a, another future time to sit down and hear your concerns. Senator Sanders is not going to be meeting with you today. Um, and I'd ask for you to take your protest outside of the office so that we can continue to conduct the office of the of the Senate. Are there any limits on types of arms I'm that Senator Sanders would questions. support sending maybe mm -hmm. more so airplanes? I'm sorry, I'm or, yeah. not going to respond so to any other questions. people share our, our utter disappointment yeah. Yeah. in Bernie Sanders. Yeah. We yeah. look to him for it's leadership. Funny. See no leadership on war and peace. Shame. Zero. Shame. 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 Uh, we, we will. And, you know, and he used to be our, our hero. In our earlier yeah, meetings, in our earlier meetings, you know, we, we brief out that's the role of the staff. He can't meet with everybody all the time. We meet, we convey those concerns, we convey the things we hear. We'll continue to. Yeah, we were supposed to meet yesterday. You asked to reschedule. I think I understand now why. Um, there was another group of Vermonters coming down who reached out. I offered to meet. They turned that offer down. I'm, look, like my doors, we have to. Okay. Is Bernie you respect our right to position? Okay. Max. Okay. Pleasure to meet you. Don't we have a right to position our? You, of course, uh, you do. But we also, we also have a right to. And to is he hiding from us? Is he no, preventing he's, us he's from he's exercising he's our right look, to petition? We, we can have a conversation, but you, if you just speak over. Let, let's support Medea in her conversation. Look, so we also, you have absolutely have a right to process. We also have a right to try to conduct <laughs> the business of the office and respond to other constituents' demands and needs, and that's what we're trying that's to do. That's trying to meet with That's Bernie. why we asked if we can move it out to the hallway. Hey, there's, there's a difference. Uh, between yeah, this let's, office. Let's, 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 let's support Medea. Let me just read you one quote because we think it's important. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is Bernie's quote from February 2022 before the Russian invasion. We must work hard to achieve a realistic and mutually agreeable resolution, one that is acceptable to Ukraine, Russia, the United States, and our European allies. 
So let's sit down, let's negotiate, and let's come up with a diplomatic solution. That is the good Bernie. Yeah. <laughs> That's the that Bernie right we now. want. Yeah. Not the other Bernie who is okaying billions and billions of dollars in weapons and says you can't talk to Putin. And we have one word answered to Bernie when he says you can't talk to Putin because he said that to us. We say try. Right? Yeah. Try. 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 We want to see what the result of Biden talking to Putin is. Right? Yeah. We want to hear that. We want to know that they've had not one conversation, lots of conversations. We want Bernie to call for a ceasefire and yeah. for and yeah. for peace talks. And, and others I don't think will follow. that's too much. I, I think mm -hmm. others will follow. Yeah. We're going to go to the offices of the squad today. We think that, that the Democrats would be with us if it was a Republican White House. Yeah. We really do feel that way. We feel that for Democrats this is a partisan issue mm -hmm. and that we would have Bernie with us all the way if there was a Trump or another Republican in the White House. We would have the squad with us. We would have Barbara Lee with us. Mm -hmm. um, but unfortunately, when they came out, as you know, the 30 Democrats in the House who came out and said, we want negotiations, they were just stopped upon by their own party, mm -hmm. by Nancy Pelosi and others in their party, yeah. and, and told, this is a security issue that belongs to the administration, you be quiet about it. You follow along the lines, there's elections coming up. And speaking of elections, mm -hmm. I think you look at the opinion polls, mm -hmm. and you know the last mm -hmm. CNN opinion poll 55% of the American people not wanting more weapons sent to Ukraine is remarkable mm -hmm. given the what you hear in the media, given what you hear from the White House, given what you hear from the Republicans mm -hmm. who are mostly hawks, from the Democrats who are mostly hawks, the fact that the majority of the people say, no, we don't want that, we don't want more war. And that's going up and up every time they take those polls. And so I think if you're looking towards the election coming up, the presidential election, you better start putting pressure not only on the senator but on the White House. Could somebody turn on, up the light? Somebody somebody also, I just switch. want to add, you know, uh, Max and Misty, please share with Senator Sanders that Absolutely. we do not buy this business of uh, we're there to fight for democracy. Mm -hmm. Elections for president have been canceled in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. There is no democracy. The most corrupt country most in Europe. most corrupt country, right? All these defense, quote, defense ministers are removed from office for corruption. Mm -hmm. This is a raid. It's a corporate raid on Ukraine. Nationalized industries are being broken up. Blackrock's Black running Rock. over there. Uh, mm -hmm. This was written into the strategic charter that Biden and Blinken signed before, three months before the Russian invasion. This is the agenda. Extraction. They care about the Ukrainian people in the East. No, they care about the metals. They care about the titanium. If we cared about the Ukrainian people, we would not have set them up for slaughter. Stop it. We need Bernie to be a leader. This office, I mean, this hallway is full of cowards. We know Bernie has the courage. He needs to summon it. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. I'd like to ask, like to ask a question. It We're seems to me there are only two right endings for this war. Because I've asked one you, of them, I told you why. Because we need to one be of able them to is negotiation. You know that Paul, and but the other so one is no, but there's World so, War so III, a nuclear catastrophe. So I ask you, those are the only two options, negotiation, and nuclear catastrophe. Which one do you want? And how many more people do you want killed before people actually come to the negotiating right. table? If you look at the maps, there has been no movement. Can I no you, movement. Can I ask you, do you think Putin is willing to negotiate? Yes, yes. yes. What yeah, are you aware? He, he negotiated on grain yeah. sale. He, 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 he put okay. forward a peace proposal. That's right. Okay, then, uh, within five weeks of the war starting, he put forward a peace a proposal. Do you expect the Ukrainians to accept a peace proposal when the Russians occupy a third of their country and are shelling their capital? That's true. It's a coup government that had a revolution. It's a fifth of the country. 
wanted to be different. If we didn't and harm them, would they have a choice? Right. Okay. So I just want to reiterate, reiterate anyway, that we yeah. do. We are communicating with the senator. He's aware that you're here. He knows about the request to meet. He knows about the meetings that you've had. We'll continue to express your views. Right now, the senator is not in agreement with your view on this. Okay, as that's the truth. Not about he's too as, busy. As he's expressed in the letter. And then I didn't say that he was too busy. I said that he has a schedule already already for the day. That's what I said. So, you know, meeting. <laughs> and but again, we will be happy to. Here. This, you know, you have so I'm going to ask everybody to please move out of the Vermont, office so that our staff But policy is formed here for the nation. Answer calls from the right, so you're, you're very much taking the risk that the negotiating position of Ukraine is only going to deteriorate. It's worse now yes, than it was a year right. ago, yeah. and there's clear evidence, even acknowledged in the corporate media, that the counteroffensive was basically a failure, certainly in terms of the hype that was a pr preceded it, and in terms of the objectives they said they were pursuing. So are you willing to risk that that the choice will be between... Just wait one second. Yeah. So, so Senator Sanders has called the police on this? I would appreciate well, that. Okay, so, so your um, position is you're not going to answer know, our questions you know, here. You know, you we know. did answer several oh, of your questions. Oh, yes. No, 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 let's hear, let's hear been, Max. I was just saying, I've been you're several times. I'm continue, you know, please continue to reach out. I will continue to engage and, you know, we have to conduct the business of the office. Thank you. Well, thank you, and we hope the business of the office would be peace and national security means don't take us to the office. the office now, folks. I'm going in the hallway. We just can't be in this office this time. Okay, so we Everybody grab your stuff. And, and let it be recorded that Bernie Sanders, Sanders called, the called in the police. Don't, yeah. don't try it. We're called Senator in the police Bernie to have us arrested. We want that yep. on the record. Bernie Sanders calls, calls in the police. The police. The right to petition. Yeah. Shame right for Bernie. Not shame. Bernie Sanders shame. has shame. progressives. Shame. 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 Shame.
So I'm gonna need you to stop singing and demonstrate this time. Otherwise, you're subject to arrest. Can you go over there? <laughs> Anybody who's risking arrest, stand over here. Anybody risking arrest, go over here. All right, so I just want to say that that was a great discussion we had. Uh, uh, and we want to hear from the Vermont people. So if we could have this just open up a little bit. If we can hear from Crystal, Jimmy, who else is? Uh, well, you're just the the right so we want to hear from Crystal about why you're here. Yeah. 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 There are a lot of people in Vermont's Wait, Jody's already getting arrested? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. I'm here to remind him that, that he knows diplomacy is the right thing. He knows peace is the right thing. We're here to tell him we need peace. He needs to call on Biden to go to the negotiating table. Not Don't tell us that Putin won't. Because the United States is doing it. Thank you. Who else wants to do that? Yeah, let's here. All right, let's get a picture holding Bernie's quote here. While you get arrested. This is free. Why are they arresting you? Why are they arresting, why are they arresting you? you? For holding a sign? Leslie, why are they arresting you? All right, folks, if you're still blocking the hallway, that counts as demonstrating as well. You're crying and they're commoting. And so just please get to one side for us. Just on one bit. side. Let the media, uh, the cameras go that way. Just one side. Thank you. Let this gentleman with the camera back up just two steps, brother. Folks on this side, we need to get against the wall or step back. Holding up Bernie's quote about the place. And what are we here demanding? We're asking for um, the diplomacy. We're asking for peace. We're asking to end the war in Ukraine. We're asking for peace. Before there's a nuclear war, we're asking for peace. And it said he called the cops on you for holding a yeah. sign of something he said. We yeah. want to go back to what he used to say, being anti-war. What do we want? Peace! What do we want now? What do we want? Peace! within this building. He recently tweeted out that he wants to see more funding go to Ukraine a couple of days ago. Can I get your reaction to that? 
I'm horrified. Watch your I'm story. horrified. I watched the, the carnage going on over there. Hey. And, and how can anyone say this is good? Cluster bombs. Mm -hmm. We're on the brink of nuclear war. How can he not? All the things he says, how can he not? Why are there recommendations? Thank you for holding up a sign, a quote from Bernie Sanders calling for dialogue. Sure, yeah. In Bernie Sanders' office, they seem to suggest that war is solidarity, which is madness, how they're co-opting the language of peace and liberation to lead us to World War III. It's crazy. It's, they're so out of touch, not just with, you know, with the American people, but with the entire world. And this guy is supposed to be the progressive hero. Yeah, what do we need Bernie to do? We really just need him to step aside and leave room for other people who are actually going to fight for us. And we're going to fight for peace. Because he obviously isn't courageous enough to fight for peace. Mm -hmm. Peace. Solidarity. Thank you. Thank you. To end the war in Ukraine. End U.S. funding for the war. No funding for war. Funding for health care. Housing. From Burlington, Vermont? You South Burlington, Vermont. I'm arrested. from South Burlington. What are we demanding Bernie do, Jimmy? We want him to end the war. Speak out against the war. Mm -hmm. against the war. If he spoke out against the war, it make, would make a huge difference. It would make a huge difference. He's lined up for using and abusing Ukrainians. And he's been supporting, using, and abusing Vermonters who live in the ter terrible noise zone of the F-35 at the airport. 115 decibel, F-35 taking off and landing in a city. It's a crime. And Bernie supports that. He's the supporter of assaulting people. We and need peace. thousand children live in that noise zone. Any others? Shame. around protesting this war. Why are you getting arrested? We're sticking up for peace. I let them loose. We're sticking up for peace. Forever. What did Bernie's office tell us? Not much. We need his support. We need him to think again. Something is wrong. We need the money for the people of this country and even of the world who we have messed over time and time again. Yeah, what about Medicare for all? What about money for Medicare for all and not wars? Really, huh? We need it desperately for survival for so many people. For me too. I'm 80. Why do you think it's important Democrats and progressives like Bernie take a stand against the war? Otherwise, it, it's going to keep going on into one of the forever wars. This is Sanders office. People are dying. We need to stand up and tell 
Our representatives said, we're not going to stand for this anymore. We can't have any more landmines being put in the ground, cluster bombs, uh, um, depleted, um, depleted uranium bombs. It's disgusting. We need to stop it now. How do you feel about being arrested for protesting today? I want the end to wars, the end to military weapons, the end to killing of people. Okay, we're going to take the and elevator were, right here. They were promised that NATO would never expand, and look, it's right alongside wow. Russia. How old are you and why are you here? How, uh, how old? 89 and a half. <laughs> and what's your name? Joan Nicholson. And why but, are you but here? My name doesn't matter so much as to stop the wars. What is it? Why are you here today? What, why? Why are you here? Stop the military. We'll stop the wars, the, all this military money and weapons, weapons going to. Ukraine, they kill people. People are dying every day, men, women, and children. You are being arrested. How do you feel? <laughs> I just I just wish they were not all understand. All, all of the senators and all of the representatives, what they're doing because it's money, money, money. <laughs> Okay. Oh yeah. Um.